How's it going, everyone? This is Anthony from Chiptune Tech. I'm here to publish a series of tutorial videos outlining Little Sound DJ. The first set of videos I'm planning to release is of the Saber Pulse tutorial. Saber Pulse is a chiptune artist, and he released a tutorial ages ago, all typed out. This video will be going over his tutorial, and we'll be making it in a video format. I was inspired to do this series of videos after I saw a similar series of videos on YouTube. The channel I saw these videos on is called LSDJ Guides. LSDJ Guides is a great source of information if you want to learn how to make different types of instruments or if you want to also see their tutorial videos, they are available on YouTube. LSDJ Guides also release their own Saber Pulse tutorial videos. I am modeling this video after theirs in an attempt to update that set of videos. The LSDJ Guide Saber Pulse tutorial videos I believe was done with an emulator and the individual that was recording it, he recorded his commentary either off of a headset or off of his computer uh, microphone. The sound fidelity was a bit tinny when it came to commentary. However, it was a very informative video. All right, I will be reading uh, the guide from here on out. I will also be adding my own little tidbits of information to pad out the guide. Uh, to make it a little more understandable if need be. Okay, so this tutorial will be coming out in five parts. The first part is starting out. Part two will be bass. Part three will be the lead melody. Part four will be the kick drum. And part five will be percussion. Uh, we'll be making a snare drum and we'll be making hi-hats in the fifth video. All right, starting out. The first screen you see after the Nintendo logo passes will be the song screen. So right now we are in the song screen. We didn't have to press anything to get here. This is the screen that uh, LSDJ puts you in right when you start the program. The basic structure of LSDJ. In the song screen, you place numbered blocks called chains. Inside these chain blocks, you create numbered blocks called phrases. Inside phrases, you place musical notes which tell the program what to play. Inside each phrase, you are able to create instruments which tell each of the notes what to sound like. From the song screen, hold select and press up. This will navigate to the options menu. All right, so I'm going to be pressing select on my controller and pressing up on the directional pad. All right, so now we are in the options menu. From here, you will be able to change many global parameters which affect your song and even the whole program. Highlight the tempo field with the control pad. Hold A and press up, down, left, or right to experiment with changing the tempo of the song. So here I'm using the D-pad up and down. And then we can go to the different parts of the options menu. Right now I am highlighting the tempo. I will press and hold the A button, and I will start tapping up. As I'm holding A and tapping up, the tempo goes up. As I'm holding A and pressing down on the D-pad, the tempo goes down. This controls the tempo, and the numbers denote the BPM of the song. So pressing up and down, we were jumping 10 beats per minute up and 10 beats per minute down with the up and down button. If you press and hold A and press left or right on the D-pad, you can fine tune the BPM numerically. Another way to adjust the BPM in LSDJ is to tap the A button. As you are tapping the A button, that will set the BPM for the song. So if you tap slowly, you will get a lower BPM. If you tap quickly, you will get a higher BPM. The tempo is the speed at which your entire song is played. It is measured in beats per minute or BPM. Let's change the tempo to 140 BPM. I'm at 225 right now, so I'm going to be holding A, and then I'll be tapping up and then right to get to 140. There we go. I'm showing you this first to give you a taster of how most parameters and fields in LSDJ are altered by holding A and using the control pad. Once you've changed the tempo, hold select and push down to return to the song screen. 
From here, I'm going to be pressing the select button and holding it down. And I'm going to be tapping the down button on the D-pad once. We are back in the song screen. All right, so that concludes the first part of the Saber Pulse LSDJ tutorial. Please stay tuned for part two, where we go over making a bass line in LSDJ. Thank you all for watching. This is Anthony of Chiptune Tech. If you are interested in chiptune music or modifying your Nintendo Game Boy, please consider giving my podcast Chiptune Tech a listen. I talk about modifying your Nintendo Game Boy for music production in LSDJ. It is available on the iTunes Store as well as uh, Android podcast apps. If you are interested in video game history, please consider giving my other podcast, Between Two Pixels, a listen. I talk about the history behind the video games of your youth. All right. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll be getting these videos pumped out. All right. Catch you guys later. Peace.